ARDK 2.3 contains a number of experimental features for developers to prototype with and give us feedback on. Please see the documentation regarding the use of experimental features. Semantic confidence allows you to return a per pixel alpha value rather than a hard thresholded one for every semantic mask. This means that you can do nicer edge effects and blending using this texture, as you can see from the mask that was just shown. With occlusion stabilization, we blend the instantaneous depth with the meshing depth. Here you can see the result where the purple is the instant and the gray is the mesh. Mesh occlusion is very stable but slow to update, so fast moving objects like a person moving through the scene, or my hand in this case, would not have been picked up. Whereas instant is very fast but noisier, so it will pick up a, a fast moving object but maybe less accurate. So this new mode allows us to blend both together to give you the best possible occlusion result. The Mesh Manager now provides an option to extend the distance at which our mesh will be generated. What we do here is allow you to increase the size of the voxels in order to get a larger distance covered. What you're seeing here is the current settings. I'll now switch over to the larger distance settings. All this means is the triangles that you're seeing generated now are a little larger so that you can get approximately double the distance. As you can see in the video, we're now meshing all the way up to the Yeti that is in our office. This is much better for outdoor settings and we're continuing to work on this feature to hopefully extend it even further. We have also added a number of new semantic channels, some of which you can see in the video here, but there are many more, such as flower, tree trunk, pet, sand, TV, dirt, vehicle, food, loungeable, and snow.